Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful card that will be perfect for a male birthday card um, using our birthday beer, stamp and die set along with our Chia Sentiment Builder and our beautiful A5 nesting die set. All of the items that I'm using in today's tutorial are listed in the description below and you can shop online at www.chloe'screativecards.co.uk Okay then, so we're going to dive on in and I'm going to show you first how to create this brilliant shaped card blank, okay, using your dies. So what I've done is I have taken an 8x8 eight eight white square card, which I've got here, and I'm popping the fold to the top, okay. I'm then going to take my die and place that down in place over the top and I'm going to take some low tack tape. I'm going to just tape this down into place so that it doesn't move when we run it through our die cutting machine. I'm then going to tape my plate, so I'm using a Gemini machine, so I'm going to use my base plate, my plastic shim and my cutting plate on the top and we're going to run that through the machine. So I've just got my die cutting machine set up slightly off camera, just to the right of me here. So we're just going to run that through and then we're going to grab the plates at the other side. And there we go. And then when we take this out, we'll have a beautiful shaped card blank. Like so. Now you can see there's obviously a bit missing from the top. There we go. So what I'm going to do is die cut another shape to go on the top. Okay, so I'm going to take the exact same die and move that from my card and I'm going to grab in a piece of our beautiful Mars Red pearl card. I'm going to pop my die on here, again tape it into place and then run that through my die cutting machine. So again I'm using my base plate, plastic shim, die cut side up with my card on top and my cutting plate on the top of there. And then we're just going to run that through. There we go and grab that at the other side. When we then release that die cut from the paper, you can then see that we can glue this down into place on our base card. So we're going to take a little bit of our Kalal all purpose glue. I'm just going to glue that onto our base card. That's then glued down in place. You can get that nicely lined up so you hide the white edges as well, which is just what I'm doing there. So we've got that beautiful base card all ready to go then. What I've then done is I've taken a piece of the gold map mirror card. I've cut the next size down from that and popped some foam pads on the back. That's then gonna get stuck onto our base card. And then I've got another, the next size down, which I've die cut from our, our Mars Pearl card. I'm going to glue the back of this one. And then again, stick that down onto our base card. Like so. So you can see how our mats and layers are starting to come together. I've then just cut a smaller piece with my guillotine. So I've done a little rectangle from matte gold mirror and then I've taken one of the textured papers from the masculine makes paper pad. This is one of the red ones. I've just trimmed that down slightly smaller and I'm going to stick that one in the middle. So a little bit of glue on there, stick that down like so and then I've got my foam pads on the back of here. These are of course our brilliant foam pads on a roll that I'm using. They are super easy to just peel the backs off 
really, really quick and easy to use. So then I'm going to pop that down onto my base card like so. So you can see how nicely that's all coming together. I'm going to pop that to one side to dry and we're going to start and do a little bit of stamping and colouring in. So I've got a piece of Nina white card here and this is a really nice, super smooth card for if you're going to colour with your alcohol markers, which is what we're going to colour the images in with. I'm going to take my anti-static bag to start with, give my card a little dust over and then I'm going to take my stamps. I have already got these on blocks. So I've got my lovely birthday beer bottle and I've also got my birthday beer glass. So I'm going to ink these up with a versifying onyx black ink pad. And then we're going to place that down and press. And then we're going to lift that off. And we're going to do exactly the same with the birthday beer bottle. Press. And then we're going to lift that off. So we've got the two images there. Now I always like to emboss my images because I just find it then a little bit easier for when you come to colour it. So I'm going to take my Wow Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top and then heat up the images. So we're just going to hold that heat gun still. And then as soon as that embossing powder starts to melt and change, we're just going to move the heat gun over the image. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to grab in some marker pens to colour these in. So the pens that I'm using are Copics, and I love my Copic markers, I think they're fab. So I'm going to start off by colouring the bottle in green. So the colour I'm going to go in with first is Moss. Just test the colour. So it's a nice kind of bottly green. So literally, I'm just going to go in and just start to colour. And what you might find is when you start colouring a large area, it might look a little bit patchy, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. So as you can see, I'm just colouring that in like so. I'm being mindful as well that I don't lean forward too much, too much for the camera. So I'm really sorry if I kind of miss little bits on here. Okay, but you can just see how we can start to layer up the colour on here. And I am not the world's best colourer in it. I just enjoy doing it. So all I tend to do is just lay down a bit of colour and then we'll go in with a slightly darker colour just to add a little bit of shading on there. So. So we're just going to get that first layer of colour down on the image and once it settles I tend to find it blends itself a little bit anyway. So then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker green. So I'll go in with this one which is ocean green and all I'm going to do is just add like a little bit of shading just down the sides of the bottle and then we'll get it nice and looking 3D. So we're just adding that colour. On the sides like so and I'm going to go in with my brush marker and 
then I'm just going to blend over the top. There we go. So that's the bottle then coloured in. So what we can then start to do is we can start to colour the glass, um, sorry, the label. So I'm gonna go in with like a, quite a golden colour for my label. So this is yellow ochre. I'm gonna lay this down as like the base. go. I'm just going to add a little bit more depth just down the side to you. Okay and I'm going to do exactly the same with the top part of the label here. Sorry if I go so so quiet as well when I'm colouring in. I really kind of get into the zone find it very relaxing. Right, so that's that bit there. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to take um, another colour, this is chamois, and we're going to just add this down the side. So this is like a slightly darker shade. Just going to drag that down here, down there, and then we're going to drag it just along the edges here. Like so, and then we go back in and we blend with the yellow ochre. Colour the centre in here as well. And I know I've gone over the lines a little bit there, but I'm not going to stress because I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour. So I'm going to go in with the red now. And where we've got these little wavy lines, I'm just going to carefully colour those like so. And then I'm going to do a bit of red across the top here. So a little bit of red across the bottom and as you can see I'm not getting kind of too concerned about how I'm colouring this in, I'm very much just kind of going with the flow. Okay and then I'm going to take a darker blue and this very little kind of fine line here I'm going to go just along there with my dark blue. There we go, and then you can see how that's looking. I'm then going to take my yellow ochre and I'm going to colour in my little bottle cap, which is here. There we go. And then I'm going to take um, this colour here, which is putty, and I'm going to colour in the label. 
across here. So you're literally just going to colour that in like so. There we go and you can see how lovely that then looks. So now we're going to start on the beer. So to do this you can do it in different ways. It depends what kind of beer people drink as well because obviously you get them in all different colours. So I'm going to go in with yellow okra and I'm also actually what's this colour here? This is slightly more golden this one this is sand i might go in with sand and yeah i'm going to go in with sand and chamois so this is like going to be a slightly different color combination so i'm going to go in with my lightest color first and we're going to just start by coloring in the beer section like so on my finished samples, I might have used slightly different colours because I am useless and I don't tend to write my colour combinations down um, as I'm crafting. I just kind of get stuck in there. I think we're all guilty of, <laughs> guilty of that when we get a bit carried away. So we're just going to colour around these like so. I'm just going to get that colour laid down. Again, it always looks a little bit patchy until it starts to dry in as well. Like so. And then we're going to take the slightly darker colour, which is chamois. There we go. And that would then be our beer coloured in. So what I've then done is taken the dice, place those over the top. I do like to give my alcohol markers. They do dry pretty much instantly. But maybe me, I'd just like to give them a little bit of time to make sure they're dry. So I've then taken my dice. I've popped those over the top and die cut them out. Like so. And then what we're going to do next is add a little bit of the fluffy stuff just onto the top of the beer. So to do that, this comes in a tube, it's a Cosmic Shimmer product, and all we're going to do is just apply, I tend to do it in little like circular motions, like this on here, okay, and then we're going to take a heat gun. And we are literally just going to heat that up. So we're just going to hold that heat gun still. And then as soon as we see it start to puff, we're going to just start to move the heat gun over the image. So then you can see you've got the fluffed up beer head there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get these stuck onto our base card. Just looks fab, doesn't it, that beer? So cool. So we're going to use some foam pads onto the back of these just to get them stuck down. So I'm going to pop a couple onto the back of the bottle. 
and then on the B yeah, I'm going to do like a double layer like so So we're going to pop the beer on at a slight angle this way and then we're going to pop the glass on at a slight angle this way okay and then from the sentiment builder as you can see you get your cheers dies and then you also get your on your anniversary celebrate well done and eat cake and on your wedding day on your birthday to you so what i've done is i've die cut out the cheers and I've die cut the fine one out of gold matte mirror and then the background out of Mars red pearl card. We're going to pop that on at an angle. Then I've taken the little 2U sentiment and I've stamped and embossed that in gold onto the Mars pearl card. So to finish the card off, we're just going to stick these on. So I'm going to pop my little 2U down there. I'm going to grab in a little bit of PVA just to stick the cheers together. So, I'm going to pop the cheers across here. Like this. Then we're going to flip that round and we're going to take some scissors and just trim down a couple of foam pads to go on here. A foam pad there. And then the foam pad here. It's going to go across the corner. And then to finish this off, I've taken our Festive Fancies Bling Box, which isn't just for Christmas. It can be used all year round. And I've taken some of the lovely little red jewels from out of here. And I'm just going to stick these into the background. Just grab my picky up tool. And I'm just going to dot these about. So I'm going to do two different sizes. A little two U's moved there. There we go. And that right there would be your finished card. And you can see how fabulous that then looks such a quick and easy card to create as well and a brilliant one for a men's birthday card which i know lots of us do struggle with so i really hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to our youtube channel or give our facebook page a like all of the products that i've been using in today's video are listed in the description below and if you'd like to you can shop online at www.chloe'screativecards.co.uk Hopefully see you again soon. Bye.